have so many members of our groups that have said, oh my gosh, I wish I had moved to over Greenville over or Charleston over, yeah. or Charlotte sooner. I wish I'd known what I know now. And that's why we're doing this, to educate people. We're not telling you to leave California by all means. If you're happy in California, can't leave because of family, your jobs, whatever, that's great. We understand. But if you're looking to leave, we just want to show you 10 or 11 now great towns that you should consider with some amazing realtors who would like nothing more than to show you the culture, the lifestyle, the quality of life that you can have if you leave California. So here we are, um, first day. Terry, you you brought the perfect weather. How did how did you end up doing that? I don't prayer. You, lots of prayer. Lots of prayer. That's right. We said our morning prayers this morning, and uh, we're here in Sonoy. This is the first day. We're kicking off the Leaving California tour, and I'm just super excited. We have Andrew Lowe here. He is the uh, expert of this area. And uh, last night I got to go to Trilla. I, I don't think we're going to see that today, but I'm glad I got to go there twice. I got to eat lunch there and I got to eat dinner there. So thank you so much for inviting us and thank you for being our very first stop on this amazing adventure called Leaving California, the Southern Freedom Tour. And uh, I'm just super excited to be here. So thanks. thanks. Well, yeah, I'm glad to get you on on day one because by day 10, I don't know what kind of ship y'all are going to be (laughs) yet. And and Terry, I understand that you guys have a a kind of a unique relationship. Maybe you could share how the two of you guys met. Sure. I was living in the Bay Area. Andrew was in the Bay Area. We had a mutual friend. And he said, Terry, there's a a good friend of mine who's an awesome realtor who has a business here in California. But guess what? He and his family have relocated to Sonoy, Georgia. And I said, Sonoy? Where the heck is that? I've heard of Georgia before, but never Sonoy. Yeah. So we got together for lunch in uh, in Danville, California. And uh, here we are. Almost five years later, yep, sitting in Sonoy, Georgia, <laughs> at uh, the famous Lisa's Crapery. Crapery. I wasn't even sure how to say the word, but uh, Terry <laughs> Terry shared some of his uh, bacon, cheese, and cheddar. Unbelievable. Bacon, so and, I don't yeah. know if she wants us to give her a plug, sure. but I'm going to give her a plug, and I'm going to tell you awesome. it was awesome. So again, let's dive in a little bit more into the. Uh, the area and your story about why so many Californians are choosing here. Let's continue sure. with that. Well, uh, one of the things that makes this place so desirable is just the quaint, historic, and um, charming downtown. This is really one of those idyllic spots where if, if you want somewhere that looks great, has high quality of life, has events and, and community involvement, I kind of said it's small town Americana is how I describe it. It looks like from, that. From yeah. back in the day. I mean, I, I'm an immigrant here from Ireland and, and I probably missed the, what a lot of people might describe as the the, the glory to the roaring 60s and 70s and mm-hmm. all that stuff. But this town really has a high level of involvement from the people downtown to organize events, mm-hmm. put on uh, you know, fundraisers, entertainment for the kids and families. Just Friday night, we had the Alive After Five program, which is basically one month every, excuse me, one Friday every month. They close downtown mm-hmm. and they have bands and vet local vendors with, with their art or businesses. Uh, you can have open containers on the in the downtown oh, entertainment okay. area yeah. so it transforms this whole downtown into yeah. one big social area those events are all volunteer led yeah. right the, the community buys in they have the committees they organize it and, and they are fantastic and people come from miles around it to come here because it's that good well you know so I, I know you know this in our groups are life after california and, li- and leaving california and you know, we're basically a forum where we help educate people that are struggling and thinking about leaving and whether they should or shouldn't go. Yeah. And uh, this is really cool to be here with you on our very first stop because you actually left California. And what do you think? Is is life better here or, or do you miss <laughs> California? Sure. You're, uh, you know, yeah, <laughs> shoot me straight. Huh? So absolutely. The we have a we have a much better quality of life here i think is is the important thing i lived in california from 2010 to basically 2020 and there was always that burden of the 
high cost of living. Mm, right. Yes. Mm. And it just seems to get worse and worse there. I was paying rent of, I think, you know, thirty nine fifty a month for a townhouse in in, uh, in California. Crazy. What part and of California? That was in uh, Northern California, the East Bay, outside San Francisco. Yeah. Okay. So that plus your electric to cool the house in the summer, that could be 800 bucks a month, right? In a townhouse. You're, you're, you got your car payments, you got your gas. And so opportunity-wise, what are some of the other opportunities that you see? Well, the, I mean, there is a lot of business around here. I mean, the Renai water... Uh, Tankless water heater have a headquarters up here, Panasonic. There's a lot of, Georgia has a lot of industry. We mean that you don't, well, I didn't notice when I was driving along in California, these major corporations that build so much stuff. They're, they're dotted all over this place. And I think someone explained it to me. The reason for that in this area is that there were actually about a uh, commute from the port that you know it's a it's a savannah port okay is at a at sort of the right distance where this is an ideal location to have big warehouses around mm -hmm. and it's sort of a strategic shipping right. hub if you yeah. like yeah so that's uh that's another opportunity for for business and well and and you're also close to the atlanta airport if you've got a, yeah. an international company you're mm -hmm. you're 40 minutes from almost any place in the world. If you go to the Atlanta airport, you can fly anywhere. Right. The Delta's base there. Yep. Delta flies over the entire world. So that's right. That's, a, that's another reason to put your headquarters here. Well, we appreciate you being on our podcast. And today would have been our 30th episode, but I feel like we're on a 10 day podcast. So it's kind of cool. <laughs> and, and, you know, Terry and I always talk about the weather when we're, when we're on our podcast and we don't really actually get to experience and live the weather, but we're here in person and, the weather is amazing. Oh this is perfect. Awesome. And yeah. maybe if, I don't know if you want to touch on the weather. Sure. So someone was thinking about coming to this area. Yeah. W this conversation comes up a lot because California has been touted as the best weather in the world. And that, if, the, if you didn't have to deal with two months of wildfires, that, <laughs> that might actually hold true. I mean, w one of the nails in the coffin for us was that yeah, we pay all this money to live in California where the, you know, the, the weather's amazing. But what does that really matter when you can't leave your house for a couple of weeks at a time? Yeah. And so I compare here in, in uh, Georgia where you have those hot months in, in July. It's like July 1st, the oven turns on. Yeah. And September 1st, it, it turns into fall again. Those two months of July and August... That is where I'm like, you know what? This is like, it would be fire season in, uh, in California. So, hey, I'm probably not going to spend as much time outside working in the yard or I'm going to do it early in the morning before it gets like right. crazy hot. That's right. And for those of you that are watching this now, I mean, it, today is April 22nd. It's a little bit cooler, I'm sure, than what it normally would be in this season. But nobody minds. We know that it's going to be warm and hot this summer. Yeah. So to have this nice, cool, breezy day, it's kind of a blessing, really. But for people who've lived in California their whole life, who are just used to getting on a freeway and stopping, uh, where you see somebody riding their bike faster than you can drive, uh, it's just a very different lifestyle to come here. And and what a great place to raise a family. Oh yeah. my Imagine gosh. Yeah. Having yeah. kids yeah. walk down yeah. the sidewalk. Feeling safe. Oh, Feeling safe. right. Yeah. Yes. That's, that's one thing that I will say has just, pe the people who live here, that have kids here, they feel super blessed to be able to enjoy this safe. I mean, this is one of the safest places in Georgia. It was, I think in 2019, it was named the safest town in Georgia. Wow. So that that standard, whatever way they measure it, we're still in that very safe, uh, you know, criteria. You know, it's so cool, Terry, that, you know, we do our podcast every week and we get to hear their perspective from the realtor. But to actually drive, one of the things that I saw that I just think is amazing is the trees and we're in rolling hills here so yeah. if you're in this community you're just going to go through some rolling hills and the, the it's just beautiful beautiful scenery this town is so fantastic and successful because people get involved i think maybe because of the effort required to pay your bills people are so tired at the end of the day in california they come in they drive in the garage they lock the door and they're just like oh they want to numb in front of the tv because they've spent all their 
energy for the day. Yeah, that's right. yeah. Come to these new locations, meet your neighbors, get involved, have fun with it. At the end of the day, everyone just wants an awesome place to raise their kids and, yes. and enjoy their retirement or whatever season of life you're in. That's right. That's great. I shared with Terry this morning my, my one of my major philosophies in life, and I'll say this to everybody out there listening and watching. You only get so many days. What are you going to do with all the days you have left? And how many more days do you want to be miserable? How many more days do you want to have to be torn and thinking, I'm not really sure what to do? And I can tell you that Andrew has helped so many people to make a decision like this. And I mean, how many times have you had a client? And we, me and Terry talk about this all the time. How many times have you had a client that said, oh boy, hi, below it. I should have stayed where I was. <laughs> <laughs> how many right. times does that happen? Yeah, that's uh, zero, <laughs> right? <laughs> Instead, what they're saying is, I wish I'd done it years ago. That's right.